Hey everyone, are you familiar with the sea scooters in our campus? And today, we want to talk about more about the e scooters in our campus. E scooters are powered by battery, and they're shared by public. Users are charged by how long you have used it. They are introduced to Miami this September, and e scooters are owned by two companies, Bird and Nine. And then let's take a look at how Miami students know about the e-scooters. Uh, so, Kater, have you ever seen the e-scooters on our campus? Oh yeah, I've seen this. It's, uh, it's on the campus. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, do you know the e-scooters on our campus? Yeah, I, I know we have them on campus. I've seen them. This. Yeah, the birds and formerly lines. Wow, it seems like e-scooters are very well known here in Miami. So. Have you ever used them? Have you ever tried to use it? Uh, well, I haven't used this uh, yet. No, I haven't used one. I have not, no. What? Seriously? Hold on, you will probably know the reason why after watching this video. First of all, I download the NIME app from the application store and open it. And actually, I can't find any scooters here in Oxford. It seems like they are all removed from the town for some reason. And let's just take a look at no parking zones. Which looks right here, they literally covers all the campus area. And I was wondering, how can I find and use a 9 e scooters here in our campus? Also, I download the Bird app. And it has a very brief tutorial which shows you how to operate the e-scooters properly. Like you should always wear your helmets, and how you should put your feet on, and always keep yourself in the bike lane. How to park it properly, and so on. However, if you just take a look at the first rule, you must be 18 years old with a valid driver's license to use a bird. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Just because uh, I live very close from my department and it's like yeah. five minutes walk, so, so you, I prefer walking. So it's Mostly because, I mean, A, you gotta pay to use them, I'm not about spending money to go someplace that's already gonna go. And I mean, if you allocate your time well enough, you just walk there. I don't really yeah. do, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm running late, maybe, but I just I haven't considered yeah. using it. So, so, the main reason, I have two main reasons for not using them. The first is that um, I like to work out a lot, and I yeah. feel that I wouldn't be as proactive if I went on the bird scooters because I like running a lot and I feel like that I would be taken away from my workout schedule if I did go on the bird scooters. The so all of the three students choose walking to school. Cater choose walking because he lives not far away. Aaron choose walking because he don't want to pay for the e-scooter. And Matt choose walking because that's just a good way to do some workout. Do you have any concern about the e-scooters? Uh, I'd say just that you know, they regulate more of whether they're sidewalk use or street use. So we can create rules or laws that they have to follow and then enforce that these get followed whether it's by Miami police or Oxford police or just bird or lime themselves. Yeah, so probably they need more regulations. Uh -huh, more regulation on them, yeah. yeah. My primary concerns for bird scooters is that there have been incidents of kids getting hurt on them, but Miami has issued warnings for how to prevent this um, by basically saying you can't be wearing a backpack. Um, bird scooters are self-regulated, so they won't go higher than 15 miles per hour. They can't be ridden indoors. Um, I think it is just up to the user to decide whether they're going to be smart about it or not. Yeah. The, um, I'm a real college student. So it, it, it is extremely affordable, but bird scooters are, it costs a dollar to start it up. And if you do it even twice every day for 
six months, that's three hundred sixty dollars that yes. you're just using to when you could just be walking. Yeah. So Matt is correct. If you are going to use e-scooters every day, the cost will be amazing. The e-scooters start with one dollar and increased by twenty cents per minute. And let's make assumption in this way. Let's assume that it takes five minutes each way to go to school, and you make that tour two rounds every day. And that happens five days each week and twenty weeks each semester. And your annual cost will be sixteen hundred dollars. Yes, e-scooters are designed to serve people. It can run six times faster than walking, so it can save you a lot of time and energy while you are using it. However, there are many restrictions that prevent e-scooters from good using. For example. Safety concerns. The road in Oxford is bumpy and hilly, which is not safe for e-scooters. And e-scooter riders could hurt pedestrians. Also, the regulations can be strictly enforced, and so on. Also, there are many replacements of e-scooters. If you live not too far from school, you can just walk there, or just ride your bike. And you can work out at the same time. And if you do live far from school, you can just take the bus, and it's totally free. Lastly, using e-scooters can be too costly. However, the fact is that e-scooters are randomly scattered in the campus, which makes it even worse because you cannot rely on it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.